First tonight, a former Tulane standout and Animal Planet reality show star speaks out in an exclusive interview over allegations he sexually assaulted a woman twice last year. The Pittsburgh woman says Tony Converse attacked her, leaving her pregnant and with a sexually transmitted disease. Did you rape this girl no, in New sir. Orleans? No, sir. No, absolutely not. WDSUI team reporter Travers Mackle sat down one on one with Converse and his lawyers today to hear his side of the story. Travers is live in studio now with the story you'll see only at six. Travers. Scott, less than one week after the civil lawsuit was filed by a Pittsburgh woman alleging she was sexually assaulted twice, Converse and his lawyers say the former Tulane running back and one time inmate is the real victim in this situation, and they have evidence they say proves their case. 36-year-old Tony Converse, a former star on the football field, now known for appearances on the Animal Planet show, Pitbulls and Parolees, says he sat down and talked with us to clear his name. Did you rape this girl no, in New sir. Orleans? No, sir. No, absolutely not. This, everything about our relationship was consensual from the day she came down to the day suppose that she left, um, to my knowledge. In this lawsuit, filed in civil court in New Orleans last week, Jennifer Stample alleges she was sexually assaulted by Converse twice. The first time in June 2014, when she came to New Orleans during her studies to become a pastor. According to the paperwork, Stample believes she was drugged, then raped, at a house on Franklin Avenue. In the suit, Stample claims she was threatened by Converse after the attack, and then later sexually assaulted again after she confronted him. She claims she became pregnant and contracted a disease from the attacks. But the former Tulane Green Wave running back tells a different story. Um, I was looking at her like a friend, you know, or something, but it seemed like then that she was kind of like pushing towards, like, you know, maybe being an aggressor towards me a little bit. Converse and his lawyers provided the WDSUI team with copies of text messages they say were sent to him by Stamfel after the alleged incident happened. In one, she refers to Converse as babe. And in another, when Stample tells Converse she's pregnant, she allegedly says, I don't regret making love to you. Don't know if you feel the same way, but I do love you. No, this wasn't planned, but I've always wanted kids, so here it goes. These um, text messages and everything were after she left. I was under the impression that this girl cared about me. Stample's lawyers say their client is willing to take a lie detector test to prove her claims, but Converse who served 12 years behind bars on a drug conviction, says he did nothing wrong. Like This is playing with my life. You know, I did time and everything, and I, I faced the, the, the wrong I did. I did the time. I come home, and I'm trying to do right things. And this girl comes out said I drugged her, I raped her, did a number of things, and all of it's a lie from the first acquisition she made to the last. A criminal complaint was filed in January with the NOPD. They tell us it's still under investigation. And in the last hour, we had a written statement from Stample's lawyer. It reads in part, Ms. Stample neither drafted nor transmitted these fabricated text messages, nor did she write a letter professing admiration for Tony Converse. Mr. Converse has apparently used that false letter to save his job. Scott. Travers, thanks. WDSU does not generally identify alleged victims of sexual assault, but is reporting Stample's identity because she has willingly provided it in this matter.